These three colors, Hansa Yellow Light, Napfall Scarlet, Ultramarine Blue, and Quick Dry White, which is a titanium white, are great for portraits and a wide range of subjects, including still life, figurative, and interiors. Of course, I do use other colors, but sometimes I just want to keep it simple. In a composition like the one I'm painting, two figures in an interior, there are a lot of similar hues and there aren't any highly saturated, vibrant colors, so that makes it a great candidate for a limited palette. A limited palette is useful for a number of reasons. New painters may find it easier to learn about color mixing with fewer choices. It's less expensive to buy fewer paints, and the more uncommon colors are usually the most expensive. For those with small spaces, it may be useful to require fewer materials. Painting with a limited palette is also a great way to achieve color harmony in a painting. When aiming to paint at least somewhat realistically, we learn that a lot of things, including skin tones, are composed of varying combinations of three primary colors. There is some debate on which hues are truly primary, but for the sake of simplicity, let's refer to them as yellow, red, and blue. The more we paint, it becomes clear that in order to paint realistically, we need to use the primaries in nearly every color we mix. It's easier to learn how to do this when we only have three colors to choose from. Let me know in the comments if you have any experience using a limited palette or if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more, please subscribe.